basically your analogy of you know, a manicured garden versus a jungle. Uh, it's very similar to this, this thought of basically structure versus chaos, right? Kind of. And um, you know, when a lot of Westerners come to India, um, you know, I think Marshall maybe different would like to get your perspective as well. You know, one of the things that always strikes them is that the whole. I'm mistaken for a drive on the. Yeah, that's Indian right. highway. <laughs> on the highway, right? <laughs> things always seem a bit chaotic on the highway, right? Uh, not just highway, but a lot of places in People India. People said if you can drive in India, you can drive, drive anywhere. anywhere. You can drive anywhere, right? <laughs> yeah. um, I, I don't drive here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I think that the, the leadership question for it is, you know, basically, uh, is it important for leaders to manage in a state of chaos? Or do they need to bring that chaos down to a more structured way, right? Uh, and again, I'm thinking kind of for the corporate world, uh, you know, and how, how, how do leaders need to think about that? I mean, should they, should they let the chaos kind of evolve unto itself? <laughs> do they need to bring more structure to it? Maybe Sadhguru, if I get your perspective and then yours, Marsha. See, uh, chaos is not a choice. <laughs> the choice that you have made is to reap out of the existing chaos. If you choose to make something chaotic, that'll be stupid, it'll go somewhere else. Like for example, the forests, for a gardener, for a gardener's mind, a jungle will look chaotic. But no, there is a very deep order there. That is why a forest will live for millions of years and a garden will not last for a month without maintenance. So it is just that what people are thinking as chaos, is because they have an external view of things. They don't have an in internal, integrated view of that. If you understand the ecological system, ecosystem, today as we have slowly human beings are beginning to understand, we understand that is the greatest order because that is the only thing which has lived for millions of years. So when we say chaos, Something looks chaotic, not necessarily because it's chaotic, simply because you have a linear mind and something doesn't fit into your straight line, you think it's out of order. No, a snake will go like this. This does not mean its mobility is not good. Tell me without using your limbs, just travel from here to here, let me see. Without limbs, he's going but he's found a way. That's how he will go. Maybe he will not race with Mr. Bolt, but that's how he goes and he's very effective and he finds his own way of life and he chooses his terrain accordingly and he manages. So this is about different types of lives, different types of people, different types of terrains, different types of activities. To reap the best out of it, you have to harness that rather than beating everybody into one type of system because in that, you may produce some level of efficiency, but you will destroy people, destroy situations. Essentially, essentially you will destroy the ecology of the world. I'm not talking about, uh, you know, ecology as it is. Des essentially, you will destroy the existing ecology and try to create something new. See, now in this land to build anything, we've never bought a dozer and leveled any land. Whichever way it is, I design accordingly and build on that. I go to America and I see with great distress, they… they want to do one development, they want to build fifty houses. They just level out fifty acres completely. This is the worst thing you can do. How much life you're disturbing, you have no sense about it, you think order means it must be like this. No, this is a different kind of order by itself. And if you do not allow that within the human mind, within the human consciousness and in the actions that we perform, then we become straight lines. Maybe somebody else appreciates us, but we are miserable doing what we are doing simply because we are straight-jacketed all the time about how we should be and how we should do. Instead of harnessing everything to its best the way it is, you want to turn everything the way you think it should be. This is because… essentially because you think too much of yourself somewhere. You think 
you're better than the natural forces that are working, which have shaped everything the way it has shaped. So chaos is not a choice. There is always a certain order which is not logically correct. The order of the jungle is not logically correct, but it's the best order because it's lasted longer than anything else. Everybody is talking about building sustainable business. If you want a sustainable business, you must take to the order of the jungle. This does not mean every… when you say jungle, you know today in India we're using jungle raj. <laughs> because people believe jungle means disorder. I am using the word jungle as a very superior order. It's a very highly sophisticated order where you don't see any straight lines but still everything is in place. Everything is in such a way that it can function like this for a million years and still last. That is definitely a superior order, isn't it? Marshall, your thoughts on… on... I, I like that answer, I thought that was good. Okay <laughs>